Hey there, Commanders. This week's community goal is interesting from a lore perspective, although the reward structure is kind of eh. Not really into livery rewards, and there are no special module rewards on offer this week. Just higher than normal payouts for relatively easy to find commodities, both in terms of mining and in terms of well, guardian stuff. Since the activity is taking place in a guardian system, and both activities inhabit the same system, you're basically picking between whether or not you want to mine for particular commodities in the asteroid belts or mine for particular commodities at a guardian site. And I say mine kind of ironically because it amounts to driving around in your SRV just kind of scooping up whatever you can find. You clean out a site, load up your ship, move to the next site, or go back to whatever the mega shipping system is to trade. So there's nothing terribly complicated here. This is very accessible even for new players in smaller ships. If you are running in a smaller ship, and I recommend just doing the Appeal for Guardian Artifacts, assuming that the game will allow you to participate and contribute without the comms panel message from uh, Commander Morag. I don't know if that... What that basically means is if you haven't participated in a salvation event in the past, I'm unsure if you will be able to participate in this one. Um, since I've been participating in the salvation events, I have this message, so I am I have no way to test to see if uh, non-participants can contribute or not. In any case, um, if any of you are aware of the answer to this question, please comment below and I'll make sure to highlight it so that everyone can see what's going on. Uh, the reward for participating in the Guardian activity is a unique anti-Xeno decal. All you have to do is make top 75% of contributors, and Inara has that currently at between 14 and 30 tons of commodities. Um, so basically visit one Guardian site, load up everything you can see, and you'll probably get there. If not, go to another site and you'll for sure uh, have everything that you need to secure a good spot. I mean, the top 10 contributors are at 150 to 232 tons. That's a couple hours of work. Um, if you spent an hour or two on a planet surface just collecting as much Guardian stuff as you can and board flipping, you should easily be able to do this in under two hours and secure a pretty healthy position that you won't have to worry about again. So in terms of the amount of effort required here, we're actually pretty low. Um, in fact, if you're really well optimized, you could probably get everything you need in an hour. Um, now for the mining component of the activity in the asteroid belts, it's pretty bog standard. We're just hunting down some relatively common mining materials that are normally not worth all that much. The local system actually has pristine icy and pristine rocky rings, so you don't have to jump, which is part of why the activity is set up the way that it is. If the commodities you're hauling touch any other market between your ship and the target super ship where you're supposed to drop these off, in this case the heart of uh, Taurus, then they won't count as contributions towards the goal whether or not you're registered. So for this to work, you have to go directly from the asteroid belt to the community goal super ship and drop these things off without basically touching anywhere else. Um, and that means that the playing field has been pretty thoroughly leveled between commanders who have fleet carriers and commanders who don't. Uh, this is extremely accessible. Any well-equipped mining ship can get you a pretty good spot. Even if you're in something as small as a Type 6, you only need 45 commodities to secure the baseline position in the top 75%. I would recommend that you load up a medium-sized cargo hold as to its brim and turn that in, and you should be pretty good for this week. Again, that will not require more than two hours of effort, and in many cases, optimized commanders will be able to do this in around an hour to an hour and a half with travel time if you're only trying to secure your minimum position. Um, now, the rewards are kind of meh. We've got three relatively cheap paint jobs on the game store. I'm pretty sure that none of these are worth more than 1,500 arcs. Um, with the normal arcs cap, you can earn these in a month of gameplay, probably less actually. I'm pretty sure the military sands under 1,000 arcs, but I don't have the prices up, so don't you know hard quote me on this. Uh, I think the Apollo is probably the nicest paint job out of the bunch. Um, but, well, Squadron Shadow isn't too bad. But again, these are they're, they're livery jobs. They're technically accessible in the game store anytime you want. So this is basically just, you know, some, some free low-tier paint jobs. Uh, they're awarded to the top 75% of participants with awards based on the tier structure. We're already at tier 2. 
Um, this will easily hit tier 3 by the end of the week. Inara estimates 80% completion when this thing closes, so there's no hurry. Jump in basically any time this week. Fill a medium-sized cargo hold, maybe around 100 tons, to the brim. And uh, return to the super ship, turn everything in, and you'll probably be okay. Do remember to keep an eye on the reward structure in our monitoring tool here so that you're aware if there's any unexpected surge in participation or activity. Uh, but I don't anticipate it. This is something that the lore hounds are going to be all over, but it's kind of a, I would call it a passive autopilot activity. There's not really a way to influence the outcome here. No one's trying to race or trying to win. You can basically just leave this on autopilot and let things run and, and it won't have any impact on the story. So the only real reason to participate is if you happen to want one of these paint jobs or a unique anti-Xeno decal. Without knowing what that decal looks like, it's hard to tell if it's going to be worth it. I doubt it will be as uh, desirable or sought after as the Distant Worlds decal or some of the other really unique things that they've periodically given out. But some of the anti-Xeno focused commanders will probably be in here trying to uh, get a shiny bobble for their, uh, for their hulls. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else really to this, sides from that. Oh, uh, do note that the paint jobs are hull specific, so you're not, you're not just getting a general catch-all. Um, they're only available for the Type 6, the Type 9, and the Python, basically the kinds of ships that people are expected to be out mining in here, some of the popular ones. Uh, aside from that, I don't really think there's anything else to talk about here, so uh, I will catch you guys later.